good morning dear friends brothers and sisters greetings in the name of jesus christ may the lord's presence be with you on this brand new day he has given you to live and glorify him remember to glorify god is the ultimate purpose for which god has created us never forget to glorify him through whatever you do and whatever you say let us meditate on god's word just for a few minutes sitting at the feet of jesus remember that's what counts and today's meditation is centered around the passage we found in this gospel according to luke chapter 9 verses 52 to 54 now here in this passage jesus and his disciples were on their way to jerusalem but on the way they stopped at samaria the city of samaria where the people in samaria refused to welcome them and entertain them that is the passage and over this the two sons of uh, zebedee uh, john and james they got very furious they were so angry and they asked the lord shall we call upon fire from heaven to come and consume these people and of course jesus rebuked them that is not his mission so this is the passage now the title of this meditation can be strong faith but wrong understanding now jesus was rejected in samaria and samaritans refused to welcome him why because jesus was on his way to the city of jerusalem now that is the reason because he was going to a city which samaritans despised they would have nothing to do with jesus if he would go to jerusalem and minister there at the same time because if jesus would be only for samaritans they are willing to welcome him because jerusalem had their temple and priest and worship and so samaritans also had their temple priest and uh, and worship if jesus would be there alone they would be happy to welcome him if not he is not welcome that was their attitude and over this rejection these two disciples two brothers james and john got so furious and they were so angry though so they asked the lord shall we call upon heaven to send fire and consume the city and its people and of course jesus refused and rebuked them there are three simple facts that i would like to bring to your attention number one their faith was strong they believed that jesus christ had the power to exercise over the heavenly powers and he could control the heavens power either by himself or through them that's what they believed and their faith was very strong yes jesus had the power and jesus could do it either by himself or by authorizing these disciples they had no doubt about it they were willing to exercise a faith in the power of the lord jesus christ to bring down fire from heaven and destroy the city of samaria and the samaritan people and of course that was not for which jesus came and so the second thing that i would like you to notice is this while their faith was very strong they had a very wrong understanding of jesus mission and that conviction also was very strong
they absolutely misunderstood the mission of Jesus Christ they thought in terms of Jesus the Messiah establishing an earthly kingdom setting them free from the power of a foreign uh, uh, authority namely the Romans and they were looking forward to sharing the power of ruling this kingdom that he would set up that was their expectation and so the third thing that i would like you to notice was notice is this what was the real mission of jesus his kingdom was not going to be earthly he would go to all he will go to all the cities and all the villages and to all the people whether he would be rejected or accepted he will nevertheless go to everywhere and to all the people his mission is to bring all to his kingdom the kingdom of heaven john 3:16 makes it very very abundantly clear his mission his mission was not just one group of people one religious group no for that verse says it all for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish this was god's mission and this is jesus's mission while his love was universal and it is still universal but this salvation is personal everyone is invited the invitation goes out to everyone come all but those who believe and respond to this invitation and respond to this universal love an unconditional sacrificial love with which jesus has come to love humanity what a wonderful mission is that regardless of one's conviction and the religious background and their creed and their nationalities or their their faith and um, uh, what color they have nothing of this is a hindrance everyone from every background because he loved the world of humanity every member of human race and john chapter 3 the same chapter verse 17 says for god did not send his son to condemn the world but that he would save the world through him no distinction that is the purpose and then in verse 18 it says whoever believes in him is not condemned whoever this universal love offered to every member of human race listen who can enjoy it whoever whoever believes in him is not condemned but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only son who is the only way of salvation God's salvation is not based on a uh, religious conviction or nationality or creed or culture or language or color or anything like this no other qualification salvation is based only on one thing and what is that one thing conviction and faith conviction and faith the gospel according to st john the same gospel chapter 16 verse 8 jesus said when he goes back to heaven he will send the holy spirit upon them and when he comes 
the Holy Spirit comes, he will convict the world of a guilt in regard to sin and in regard to righteousness and in regard to judgment. In regard to sin because men do not believe in me, Jesus said. And in regard to righteousness because I am going to the Father where you can see me no more, no longer. And in regard to judgment, because the prince of this world now stands condemned. You see, my friend, Jesus came to the world of men. He did not love, love any kind of animals or anything so much that he did not die to save any, any, any cre other creature, any other uh, uh, creations of God. But he came for man, for humanity, because it is humanity that was separated from God. And uh, it is mankind that God created for himself. And he was lost to God. And because of a sin, he was separated from this loving God. And now God is seeking what was lost to him. What was lost? Humanity. And that is you and me, my brothers and my sisters. What a love. If you feel you are wicked and with an unhealthy character. Remember, Jesus was accused of sitting with the, with the publicans, tax collectors, and prostitutes, and uh, all kinds of sinners. And Jesus said, in answer to that, I have not come to call the healthy. A doctor does not is not required for the healthy. A doctor is required for the sick. And there is this terrible sin sickness by which the entire human race is afflicted and troubled. And so if you feel you are such a great sinner and there is no hope for you and you are so wicked and your character is so unhealthy and you are troubled in your heart wondering who can set me free, I have good news for you. It is just for you that Jesus Christ came down from heaven to be a sacrifice for your wickedness, for your sin, for your unhealthy character. And those who believe in him, who will respond to this great love, which took him to the cross where he died, shedding even till the last drop of his blood as a remission of your sin. And no sin is greater than his grace and no wickedness or unhealthy character is uh, bigger than a God's wonderful love and the power of his blood is able to cleanse you and wash you. This is what makes you a qualified person for his mercy and for his grace. You can be changed, not by might of anything you do, your good works, nothing. But you can be changed by the power of His grace and cleansed by the power of His blood, if you believe. He died for sinners, for their salvation. Only condition is to come to Him in humility and in true repentance and turn your life over to him. Let him manage. You are saved by faith and by grace. That's what the Bible says. God cannot be confined within the four walls of a religion or a denomination or a group or a nation or culture. Anything, nothing. Jesus would go to any city, to any nation, among anyone and any language. And these two disciples simply did not understand his mission. A wrong, strong faith, but wrong understanding. 
You know, it reminds me of a verse in the Bible. Zeal without knowledge is dangerous. And so, while we have a faith, let us also have a strong understanding of where your faith must be focused on. There is only one who is worthy, Jesus Christ, God's Son. This is the message, and He is for everyone. So, let us examine our faith. Our faith and conviction may be very strong, but at the same time, our understanding of God's plan must be clean and clear according to the scripture our zealous our zeal may cause us to be angry with anyone who does not agree with our ways and our no that is not right god loves everyone he is willing to change everyone you can be a new creation by believing in him o oh lord Help every one of us. Lord, we know that you have the power to do anything. But you never use your power to destroy anyone. Even now we know that the lives and the times of every member of a human race is in your hand. There are wicked people. There are anti-Christian people but you don't use your power now to destroy any one of them. For this grace and mercy we thank you and we bless your name in Jesus name. Thank you Father. Amen. God bless you today. Today is a wonderful day. Enjoy every moment. Have a good and a wonderful day.